طيب بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. We were talking still in سورة المدثر and I believe we covered up to آية where Allah سبحانه وتعالى mentioned you know فإذا نقر في الناقور آية from 8 to 10 فذلك يومئذ يوم عسير على الكافرين غير يسير. And uh, the translation, you know, of the meanings would be, then when the trumpet is blown or is sounded, that day will be a difficult, you know, day. Uh, will be, يعني, يوم عسير عسير هار, يعني, is is so open given meaning, which one cannot attain to know how. Difficult, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, and that's why He said, "Not easy for the disbelievers." But it means it will be easy for believers when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to be amongst them. You can read Sheikh Abdul Majid that the text down. That is when the trumpet is sounded for all creatures to rise from their graves. And gather for the day of resurrection. That day will be a difficult day because of its many horrors and hardships. Not easy for the disbelievers because they will despair of all good and will be certain of their doom and perdition. What this implies is that it will be easy for the believers. As Allah says elsewhere, the disbelievers will say, "This will be a hard day." Al Qamar. Yes. That's number eight. Yeah. Let me see if uh, there is a completion here. I just uh, uh, let me see. Yeah. No, he is talking about another ayat. But this is, uh, you know, the the yeah the meaning here that the implication of Being that day difficult on the disbelievers means it will be easier easier for the believers. We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to be amongst them. Uh, when when the disbelievers will say this will be a hard day in Surah Al Qamar. Uh, let me check the ayat because sometimes uh, the translator might have missed something. I should have actually looked into it. Yes. I number, he said, uh, 54, uh, I number eight. Yes, Muhtayr al-Adda'a yaqulu al-Kafiruna hadha yawm al-Asir. Again, he, he got the same, you know, uh, that the Kuffar will say, this will be a hard day, or this is a very hard day, very difficult way, day. Because it is from the saying of the disbelievers only. It means the believers will not say that. We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to be amongst the the believers. And as you know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said that in on that day it will be very long day uh, to the people till they will go to the uh, Adam and Noah Alayhi Salam until they reach. To go to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and he would be raised to the Al Maqam Al Mahmud, to the station that he deserves, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the noblest, you know, station. The uh, on, even on that day, it's very long. Uh, those who would demand, you know, being uh, reconned at that day, uh, still, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. In accordance to the deeds, 
the 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 uh, sweat will be covering the person up to the tip of his head or up to you know yuljimuhu it will be up to his you know mouth or up to his chest or up to his knees in accordance to the deeds and accordingly he would a person would face difficulties we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us from that and give us security on that day Allahumma ameen wal alladhina amanu wa lam yalbisu imanahum bi dhulm those who believed and they have not you know missed their iman with dhulm you know ulaika lahum al amn wa hum muhtadun they will receive the full security and safety on that day and they will be the rightly guided ones and the ulama they said in accordance to the uh, dhulm that the person does he might lose part of that security and part of that guidance so this dhulm if it is shirk there is no security at all and no guidance may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us if it is less than that he will miss you know part of such sick security or safety uh, amen and uh, you know hidayah we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for our shortcomings and wrongdoing in general uh, now the episode will talk about the uh, you know the kafir al walid ibn al mughira where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir zarni wa man khalaqtu wahida وجعلت له مالا ممدودا وبنين شهودا ومهدت له تمهيدا ثم يطمع ان ازيد كلا انه كان لاياتنا عنيدا سورهقه صعودا انه فكر وقدر فقتل كيف قدر ثم قتل كيف قدر ثم نظر ثم عبس وبسر ثم ادبر واستكبر فقال ان هذا الا سحر يؤثر ان هذا الا قول البشر سأصلي سقر وما أدراك ما سقر لا تبقي ولا تذر لواحة للبشر عليها تسعة عشر وما جعلنا أصحاب النار إلا ملائكة وما جعلنا عدتهم إلا فتنة الذين كفروا ليستيقن الذين أوتوا الكتاب ويزداد الذين آمنوا إيمانا ولا يرتاب الذين أوتوا الكتاب والمؤمنون وليقول الذين في قلوبهم المرض والكافرون ماذا أراد الله بهذا مثلا كذلك يظل الله من يشاء ويهدي من يشاء وما يعلم جنود ربك الا هو وما هي الا ذكرى للبشر you can read the translation shadan bil give uh, give me to deal with the one whom i created along and penniless called jobs it yes yes i'll take the yes then gave him abundant wealth and sons by his side and smoothed the way for him to power and status yet he desires that i should give him more by no means for he stubbornly denies our revelations i will subject him to an overwhelming punishment he reflected and deliberated may he perish how he deliberated again may he perish how he deliberated then he looked around then he frowned and scowled then he turned away insolently and said this is nothing but magic handed down this is nothing but the words of a human being i will admit him to hell and how could you know what hell is it leaves nothing and spares no one coaching the skin the pointed over it are 19 angels we have appointed none but angels as keepers of the fire and we have only mentioned their number as a trial for those who disbelieve so that those who were given the book might attain certainty and those who believe might increase in faith so that those who were given the book and the believers might have no doubt and so that those in whose heart is a disease and that is believers might say what does allah mean by this number does allah leaves to stray whomever he wills and guides whomever he wills 
and no one knows the host of your Lord but he. This is but a reminder to humankind. Yes. Go ahead. This is from Sheikh Saadi now. Yes. He's talking about, yes. These verses were revealed concerning Al-Walid ibn al mughira who stubbornly rejected the truth and openly fought and opposed Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Therefore, Allah condemned him as he condemned no one else. And this is the requital of everyone who stubbornly rejects and opposes the truth. He will be disgraced in this world and the punishment of the hereafter is more shameful. Hence Allah said, leave me to deal with the one whom I created alone and penniless. That is, I created him alone without wealth, without family and without anything else. And I kept caring for him and causing him to grow. Then gave him abundant wealth, that is, I gave him a great deal of wealth, and I gave him sons, that is, male children by his side, that is, they are with him constantly, he enjoys their company, he needs, uh, his needs are met by them, and he has their support. And smooth the way for him to power and status, that is, I gave him power in this world and granted him the means of attaining it so that he was able to get all that he wanted and desired. Yet, despite these blessings and favors, he desires that I should give him more. That is, he desires to attain bliss in the hereafter as he attains blessings in this world. By no means, that is, it will not be as he hopes. On the contrary, the outcome will be other than what he seeks. That is because he stubbornly denies our revelations. That is, he recognized them, but then he stubbornly denied them. They called him to the truth but he did not submit it to it, submit to it. And he was not content simply to turn away from the revelations. Rather, he began to oppose them and strive to undermine them. Hence, Allah says of him, can you scroll it up, sir? Yes. He reflected that he thought to himself and deliberated about saying something to undermine the Quran. May he perish, how he deliberated. Again, may he perish, how he deliberated. Because he deliberated about something that was beyond him and tried to do something that he and his ilk will never be able to do. Then he looked around, not saying a word. Then he frowned and scowled. What appears to be the case is that this was out of resentment and hatred towards the truth. Then he turned away insolently, and as a result of his intellectual, physical, and verbal efforts, he said, this is nothing but magic handed down. This is nothing but the words of a human being. That is, this is not the words of Allah. Rather, it is the words of human beings. And it is not the words of good human beings, rather, it is the words of evildoers and bad people, namely liars and magicians. May he perish how far away he was from the truth and how deserving he is of doom and perdition. How could anyone think or imagine that the most sublime and greatest of words, the words of Almighty Lord, the majestic and most generous could resemble the words of poor, imperfect humans. How could this stubborn liar, they are to describe in such terms the words of Allah who originates and recreates. He deserves 
he yes. could uh, uh, he could yes. anyone uh, yeah he deserves uh, nothing I... yeah he deserves nothing but severe punishment and divine vengeance hence allah azza wa jalla says i will admit him to hell and how could you know what hell is it leaves nothing and spares no one that is because of its intensity it does not leave anything of the one who is punished but it will reach it scorching the skin that is it will scorch and burn them with its punishment causing them pain with its extreme heat and cold the pointed over it are 19 angels as its keepers they are harsh and stern never disobeying allah in what he commands them and they do what they are commanded to do okay we'll stop here because uh, time maybe the uh, the point here is uh, you know the the this al walid ibn mughira may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed him with wealth and you know of spring and uh, uh, status yet uh, he denied the truth after approving of it and when he was uh, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us deceived and uh, he went so astray uh, because the, the the and this is a problem when one uh, you know may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us reaches a very high uh, you know level in this life posts positions and he is surrounded by bad people those bad people were you know so uh, yani may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us so effective you know they really you know manipulated even his mind to say whatever they wanted so they said we won't leave you okay al walid till you say something about it so they urged him and they enticed him and was trying to save him and they agitated him to say something bad about which goes against his belief because he knew and you know what he said about the quran he said that this quran is so unique in uh, uh, you know a'lahu lamughdiq he says its highest is so fruitful and so you know uh, and it nothing can you know go against it or precedes it or uh, become superior than it this is part of what he said because he said it in a very nice uh, way to the extent the kuffar you know were so um yani uh, obsessed that if he would uh, revert to islam all people will you know will accept islam due to that yani he was like an example to the kuffar so they enticed you know or they agreed you know to try to influence him to say something you know that goes against what he said so they were uh, you know after him urging him to say something that's why may allah taala save us forgetting about the truth he attained to realize and recognize and uh, you remember and recall that he came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said uh, listen uh, when he listened and when he read to him sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know part of surah uh, hamim uh, uh, surah fusilat where when he reached about the the punishment to ad and samud he stopped the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he asked him by allah and uh, to be dutiful to his relatives and kin kin then he said something good about the quran and then he returned back to say uh, this horrible thing after you know deliberate and after a uh, lot of thinking about it you know and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said uh, you know uh, birish what he deliberated and what he uh, thought of because he tried to make an example to the quran to something which is which cannot be because the sahar 
is so dirty, so poor, okay? And uh, you can see the, 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 the magicians, how their life is a struggle. And what they say is nonsense. So how could you compare the greatest, okay, ever, you know, words of, of Allah Almighty with such, you know, fullness, you know, of the magicians. But he said, it, it is sahr. This is what he said. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, uh, promised and threatened him that he will be punished in hell. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us. And uh, uh, at the beginning, he says, darni wa man khalaqtu wahida. It's enough that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be, you know, the one to deal with such kafir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from such, uh, you know, destiny and from such, uh, you know, punishment. I will stop here, inshallah. If you have questions, we will continue to talk about some parts of this next week, inshallah. Sheikh, this uh, Walid al bin al Mughira. Yes. Uh, are they his brothers? Uh, were the Sahabas? Uh, his uh, Khalid ibn Walid. Oh, his son. Khalid. Khalid, his son. Yeah, Khalid is his son. Yeah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Yeah, Subhanallah. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala thus He creates the 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 Muslim from the kafir, and He creates the kafir from the Muslim. And Subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa taala guides whomsoever He wills. And Khalid ibn Walid was one of the smart people. And when he was asked about why he would, uh, you know, uh, he would he didn't accept Islam before. Uh, he said, uh, we used to look at a, a people who had great, uh, you know, sound reasoning and great intellect, intellectuals. Then he, when Allah SWT guided him to Islam, he realized that those people were having no real, you know, intellect, good intellect. But it was, you know, just the, the haftiness, the uh, transgression, and the Arrogance, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us, who, who made them to turn away from the deen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us all and forgive us and guide us to the way most amazing. To him, may Allah reward you for your attentive listening. Inshallah, next week we will meet, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.